Ask Dina Burnett Bailey when the first fight on the war on terrorism took place. She will tell you it wasn't on the ground in Afghanistan. It was in the air on United Airlines Flight 93. Her husband, Tom Burnett, was on that flight and was among those who died trying to take back the plane. I recently sat down with her to get her take about her late husband's legacy and the recent events that brought the 20-year war in Afghanistan to an end. It was a moment when all of us stopped what we were doing. We watched in disbelief, trying to make sense of what was happening. Our hearts sank and emotions boiled over after learning we were under attack. The loss was incredibly painful and still is today. Dina Burnett Bailey lost her husband that day. Her three daughters lost a father. Tom Burnett was on United Airlines Flight 93 when it was hijacked. The intended target, the nation's capital. But the terrorists' plans were foiled when Burnett and others fought back to try and take back the plane. I think that the initial surprise of someone fighting back on September 11th and not just standing there watching this happen to them. I think that that was the beginning of a very strong legacy that allowed people to say, wait a minute, I, I really don't have to sit there and watch a wrong being done. At the time of the terrorist attacks, her twin daughters, Hallie and Madison, were just five years old. Anna Claire was three. Over the past 20 years, she's offered to take them to Shanksville, Pennsylvania, to see the site where their father died. But they chose not to go until now. I think it's really going to be very emotional for all of us. It will be emotional for them because they've never been there. Yeah. And they'll be surrounded by the other family members. They'll see the chaos that can ensue with a crowd that size on an anniversary. Thomas J. Burnett, Jr. I also think that it, it's time. It's time for them to go. It's time for us to experience that. Since the attacks, there have been many defining moments in the war on terrorism. Each of them having an impact on Burnett Bailey, especially in May of 2011. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. I remember listening to the news story and watching the footage on television and really feeling a sense of relief that I had not felt since Tom died. Closure? Um, I, I don't know that you ever get a sense of closure from losing someone that day, but in the moment, I think that that's probably what I felt. Um, but, but it was as if this enormous weight had been lifted. Nine years after that announcement, my fellow Americans, the war in Afghanistan is now over. The emotions of 9-11 once again resurfaced as the last U.S. soldier was removed from Afghanistan, ending a 20-year war. Right after we first went over there into Afghanistan, I absolutely had complete empathy and felt the death of every serviceman and servicewoman who, who died and, and felt a guilt because I felt like it started on United Airlines Flight 93, that that was the first battle, and that it just continued thereafter. She now wonders if the war in Afghanistan is really over and whether it should be over, especially now that the U.S. is entertaining the idea of possibly working with the Taliban on future counterterrorism strikes. I'm not familiar with a terrorist organization that is not self-interested. And so to negotiate with a terrorist organization, to allow them any give and take at all, I think is out of line with our Constitution and what we stand for as U.S. citizens. Some powerful words. Burnett Bailey and her three daughters leave for Pennsylvania tomorrow morning. Later that night, Tom Burnett's cousin will take part in a ceremony where candles will be placed below the names of each passenger and crew member of Flight 93. Then on Saturday, the annual September 11th observance will take place. 
At 10.03, the moment Flight 93 crashed, the names of each passenger and crew member will be read, and Anna Claire Burnett will have the honor of reading her father's name. Quite a moment. New York